Okay, uh, I think this is a good way to start this week's Us Watching Us, where we are going to be finishing out our time in Indonesia. So, uh, and then we will be doing, we had a short stop that we filmed very little of in Bangkok. And I just tacked that onto the end. Mm. And then next, Us Watching Us, I think that'll be next week. I think we're still going to be here for that. We'll be jumping into Laos. So we're going to be um, just clearing out the last bit of Indonesia. And I don't remember much of what happened in the, in the last bit of Indonesia. I know we went to that big, the, the biggest Buddhist shrine in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of all I really remembered. So these episodes are going to be, um, for me anyways, some things that are going to be new. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we already did them once, but I'm still like, I don't really remember exactly um, what we did. Oh, wow. Your icon is a little, a little cow. Yeah. Um, I never, they changed the uh, Mac OS menu system. And I never remember how to turn off the bars at the top. Task bar? I don't know what they're called. I used to know, I just used to know where they were in the um, interface, but they completely revamped it, and now I don't remember how to turn it on and off. Yeah, I think we're just gonna. Oh, here it is. What is it called? Automatically hide. Hide and show the menu, menu bar. bar. There we go. It just makes it look nicer when we put it up. Okay. Um, Still waiting for the video. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this person dropped Cox and then was like, oh, just, just over here waiting. Uh, Indonesia. Okay. So last week in the episode of Us Watching Us, we were traveling back and forth across the island of Flores, which is this island here. And when we Dang. ended, we ended up um, landing and going to Bali and we were staying a night in, on the island of Bali here. And from here, I don't even remember where we went next. So we flew somewhere back onto the island of Java, but I'm not sure where we went, and that will be answered when we get into the videos. Mm. So that's basically where we're gonna be, wherever that is in this area somewhere. I like that you really just like jumped into Indonesia. You didn't do the, okay, and then we went oh, to you Thailand. Oh, you, are you da, da, glad da, da, I'm skipping da, da, da. all that? Yeah, uh, I feel like it would help people, but it's gonna I try to get fire long through it. Yeah, I know, that's the fun part. Long. That's the fun part. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we went to here. That's I just saw this and recognized. Oh, Gary's here. Great. Yeah, Gary's we have all the, the answers. Expert. <laughs> Gary, we're leaving your expertise, but we expect you to be expert about everything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so uh, headphones. I sat on the headphones. And plug them in, and then we're good to go. I think I plugged them into the TV. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it's in there. Okay, let's get into it. <clears throat> I, I really hope I remember to ask Gary. <laughs> From now about on, every... all the questions. Okay, <laughs> us. All right. Did the audio work for you guys? Did you hear the derp? Holler at me if it's not working. Let's go. All right, so coffee in Indonesia. Um, it's pretty good. I generally don't really like coffee that much. I don't know if this just means I'm an adult that I like the flavor of coffee now or if the coffee here is actually better than what um, what we what I'm used to. The thing that's interesting about it is if you see along the rim, like this is like the, what, grain or whatever, what we get, grounds of the coffee. And this one's not that bad. There's not that much in it. But if you look, there's like a sludge at the bottom of the actual cup. And this one's pretty stirred up. But sometimes, uh, like, there we go. Like that is just, a sludge falling off. Still by far my favorite coffee down there. Is down there. Like in Southeast Asia in general. Mm -mm. It's so it's so much better Dude, than the coffee that we get it's here. It's known. Mm -hmm. It's known for that. It's good. It's 
sometimes you get a cup and there'll be like, you know, this much of it in the bottom of it. But um, it's tremendously flavorful. It's really good. So, uh, yeah. Good times with the coffee. <laughs> this be Oh my god. Mozzarella cheese and pineapple and strawberries and apple. Pause that shit. That is a pizza. <laughs> wow, people, look at that. People get, it's not even like a quality pizza, but you can just tell someone was like, I got this. People get mad at pineapple on pizza. These people were like, fuck it, we're going to apples, strawberries, mozzarella cheese. We're works. doing the everything. Put some onions on it and you got me. <laughs> wow. And pineapple sauce, apparently. And that's what I'm having for breakfast. Pineapple sauce <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> States we have sporks, but here, here they have spifes. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but that's it. Yep, there we go. There's the teeth. There's the spoonage and the knifeage. Spoonage, knifeage. If they had just added sporkage to this, we'd have a spork knife. Spork. <laughs> yeah. So I think that maybe East meets West, and we could have the most ultimate utensil ever. Pause it. What was that even for? <laughs> Who gave you a knife? I feel like really important information is missing. Ooh, we can't say that word. That K noon. You can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say that out loud. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's, not, mm. it's not okay. Which which letters are silent? <laughs> I don't know. You're gonna go and say the K is silent and just say it's a noon. Mm. <laughs> mm. Our traditionally useless um, guidebook has gotten us completely lost and um, we've had to ask a local for assistance in finding the entrance of this palace in Jug Jakarta. And he has been <laughs> now hauling us through this tunnel, this dungeon, and it really, really is starting to look like he's just going to kill us. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this turns out. But I don't remember this at all. I kind of remember it. These are real chicks. I'm not even fucking joking. I don't understand. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Pause it. How do they do that? Do they inject? I still don't know. Do they know. inject the egg? They could inject the egg, but... How does this happen? That one's looking right at me. <laughs> um, A big one? Yeah. <laughs> um... This is, it's still pretty shocking to, to think that they're just selling these animals that are going to turn into unmanageable. Is it just colored water? Is that all it is? I don't know, it doesn't seem okay. Whatever happened, this seems like it shouldn't have happened. Yeah. Like, did they just do it like, a, um, like an Easter egg? Yeah. Hold your breath. I mean, the coloring on it is impressive. Very full. There's not like Super spotty vivid. or anything like that. Like it's like perfectly done. That's what makes me think it wasn't like just like a chicken, a, a McDug, a McDunk. But I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's weird and it's, it's really trippy looking. Welcome to Jungle Balls. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who's excited. <laughs> Here's our guest house in Jug Jakarta. <laughs> I wanted to show you the paintings on the way down because they are nice. First off. Wow. <laughs> you look at this guy. His expression is epic. Oh my god, I'm a pony! <laughs> All his pony brethren. And then we come down yet another wall. And then this is just some. This is just some stupid birds. Who cares about this? Yeah, you this apparently don't like birds. Though. What? <laughs> I have no recollection of this. What? <laughs> Who puts that on the wall? <laughs> Pause. What? You can't move. <laughs> Like, I, I'm all for, you know what, hold on, let me be honest. I'm not all for public breastfeeding. 
Eh, I don't care about I'm it. I'm for you baby. doing it, and like I don't need to see parts of your body that I don't normally see. You're gonna, you're like, gonna get people offended. I, I, I'm, I'm just being real. Like I would, like personally, put a blanket over and just let that shit happen. Um, but I'm a fan of the blanket and uh, whatnot. What is that? That they commemorated that in. What's happened to the computer? Sorry, had a technical difficulty, and during technical difficulties, if I talk to Eric, it does not help. Well, I can't continue to have a conversation. Like I'm sorry, I just my brain goes to trying to figure out why the computer has stopped outputting video. Maybe it's back now. Hmm, that's good news. Yeah, that's good news. Borbador. Don't touch anything. Um, that, that's just my thoughts about that. And do you I want to do a reenactment? Ah. Uh, <laughs> hold on. The mouth was really... Wait, can we put it on the screen so I can really get the, the baby vibes? You want to see the baby? It was kind of like... <laughs> get on my titties. Can't deal with this. He invited a reenactment, but he doesn't understand like how committed I am to the craft of the reenactment. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I see the argument about like it just being like a natural thing. And I mean, it's just a titty. I don't Who cares? Titty. I mean, you just don't got to look at it. You know what I mean? I don't know. But anyways, it was a weird thing to put on a giant wall painting. Like, that's my argument. Like, it's, Normally, it's, a, weird, it's a weird painting. It, if we lived in a culture, and have. there are cultures that probably have this where like boobs are just out. And if, the, if we lived in that culture. Let me ask you a question. If, okay, so you're saying that if... You're not offended by the breastfeeding. You're offended by the fact that there just can't be boobs out. No, no, no. I I have a social construct that says that boobs, penises, and vaginas are not out. These are put inside your clothes and you don't take them out in public. I feel like that should not change for anything because that rule is set. Well, you're very conservative. I think that if you just put a blanket over, we're all that's kind of, good. That's kind of what happens here. If you even see that, usually women I've go into like... I've never seen a Japanese woman I, breastfeeding. I have, but with like a with like a cover. With like, so I've seen a woman on the train Gosh, and stuff. When is the last time I've seen a breastfeeding? Yeah, it's it really like doesn't happen time. very much here, though. You're right. Um, it, it'll happen more as tourism comes in. Or maybe you'll just start noticing it now because we talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's just my thought. Like, we have a construct of rules stay with the I rules. think the construct is stupid I think if men are allowed to have their tits out women should be allowed to have their tits out that's my that's my idea I think it would take adjustment for me to get used to that I think that I've had it so programmed into me mm-hmm. so even you can see that with this like natural normal thing my construct is like I don't want that and I'm a female I feel weird for being in the female group the people who should be promoting that and I'm like no Maybe if you're a mom, you feel different. That. Like, I mean, if you've been a mom and you have to go into like a toilet yeah. to feed your kid, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel weird about that because I feel so protective of this zone uh, because of the rules and because I have been indoctrinated with the fact that these are personal, not public. Mm. <laughs> and I'm oh, fine with the toilet. I prefer the toilet. Do you to have your baby my tits you over out. a toilet? Yeah, no problem. I would highly prefer that to. Whole, what if it was like a, being what if it's in an cafeteria. American toilet, like a horrible, gross, stinky toilet? Not like a I would night, go you, you and might, find something in, slightly in your mind, tolerable, you might be... or I'd never go outside. <laughs> I'd just be like, That's what they is... actually do here. Never the go mom, outside. The mom, the mom, you barely ever see babies, like breastfeeding age babies mm. in Japan. They're almost not, never outside. People, moms just stay home with them for like two years. They just stay home with the kid. Anyway, this is uh, not the exact same topic here. But this is what this is supposed That's to fine. intrigue. Okay. Uh, so this is, we are going to, I'm sure we're going to, I'm just trying to like transition us away from the titty talk. Um, we're going to a um, Buddhist shrine, I believe. I know that this is in um, predominant, predominantly Muslim Indonesia, but this is the largest Buddhist shrine in the world. Somebody followed during that boo brand? Uh, it's down here. Right there. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, okay. I'm very short. 2244. Four. Thank you for the uh, follow. Mm. Okay, uh, so we're going to be exploring this. I remember two things about this experience. I 
think the painting is depicting what we have to stop for Gary. <laughs> okay. I think the painting is depicting breastfeeding <laughs> yeah, being uh, what people do at home, not in public. However, since people usually hang around the porch, the scene can be seen by passers by. Katie wife material. She saved Saves the goods, goods for private. private. <laughs> <laughs> I indeed do. I indeed do. This is a Mm, not for public. So, Borbador is the place that we're going. I'm trying to get us back out. No more titty talk. Um, we're, the, the things I remember, too. I remember it being super, super hot outside. Like, the wet, the temperature was insane. It was insane. It was above 40 degrees. Yeah. I remember I that. remember it being really hot, and I remember everybody there wanted to take our photo. Yes. But politely and in a fun way, not in a sneaky, shitty way. They wanted to engage. Uh-huh. They wanted to have an interaction even if that was just take a picture and walk away. So I'm sure we're going to, I'm sure that's part of the video. If it's not, I would be shocked. Temple in Southeast Asia called Bora Bador. Now it's just a, it's a lot of people in front of it. What's the temperature like? It's pretty warm. Uh, I don't have the compass, but it's definitely hot. It's called a thermometer. <laughs> I think I said that. Okay, so we got out the thermometer and, uh, and uh, definitely a hundred, hundred. Hold on, listen. It's pretty warm. Uh, I don't have the compass, but it's definitely a hundred. It's pronounced thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got out the thermometer and uh, Oh, yeah. We're rolling at 110 degrees. So, um, And we just went to nowhere yeah, with... Out here. Here. Mm-hmm. Like, there's not a lot of trees there's, and there's stuff. There's no yeah. coverage. Yeah. Yeah. It was... I remember it being incredibly hot. Can you get the sweat? Can you get the sweat? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hot. These are extremely intricate uh, carvings in the walls of Bora Bador. This was done 1,200 years ago, you said? In 1880. And you can still see what's going on in them. (laughs) Pretty amazing. Is it just me or is it like 18? 800. Oh, 880. Okay, yeah, I was going to say. That seems like yesterday. (laughs) I wrote it on the screen like... Did you see what I'd written mm-hmm, on the bottom of mm-hmm. the <laughs> That really... Alright, most people probably figured out that this looks a lot like Tetris. <laughs> Why aren't the lines disappearing? Not really sure why this has been torn up, but it's really cool to see how they know how to piece things together. Um, they basically make like a symbol and match it with the same color and... It's it just, that's crazy. Like, there's got to be 60 different symbols here, and then they've got to piece all that back together upside down, I guess? Maybe, yeah. No, no, I think that goes there, and then they clean it off. See how all the other oh, yeah, ones are facing up, too? Yeah, it's they just it sidewalk chalk at its best. The view from up here is pretty epic. Yeah, I remember this oh being... God, that crap out of me. Okay. Yeah, it's awesome. It's not even funny. I thought I was dying. It's like a... Eight, it's like a five-foot fall. I would have survived. Anyways, the view is quite nice when people aren't terrifying you. How'd you get down there that quick? Spider-Man. Did these did these people over here know you were doing that? They probably had suspicions. Look around you. Look around, around you. What, oh, is, what that is that from? from? It's from a show. Look around you. It was like these little shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Look something. It was really you. funny. Look around you. I think we watched like a few of them and didn't deem it to be something to continue to watch. Oh no, I think we watched them all. It's like some British thing or something. I think. Look around you. I'm gonna get a refill real quick. Okay. Oh shit. I thought Eric was stuck in the ground. Oh, no. uh, 
I, if you are able to touch one of the statues, it brings good brings luck. Care to elaborate? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know what that's referring to. Are you getting more wine? Mm -hmm. Can you get me some more? Can you get a spoon? I'm gonna have to wash this pig. There's a pig. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hold your spoon. Thank you. Yeah. Look around you. Look around. Why is the computer cutting out? I don't understand. It's just like derping out on me. Is it just when you pause it? Yeah. It's like it's going into sleep mode or something. It's never done this before. So then I have to unplug and replug and pray that it doesn't do that thing where it makes the distorted things. There must be some like energy setting or something. Yeah, now it's crackling so I gotta, oh God. We've entered nightmare mode. I should probably flip the scene because it might make a bunch of noise to people. Oh, God. Okay. Hello. Can you just set it down there, please? All right, That's I got to fuddle with technology. Yeah, like I don't, I do not understand. Let's see if I can not rage. Oh, so there was a big earthquake that meant that they had to reconstruct a lot of the Tetris that was happening there. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Hmm. Man, when they get earthquakes there, they get earthquakes. And volcanoes. Indonesia doesn't seem real safe. When Japanese people talk, like they ask you, oh, is Japan safe? And you think about it from an American perspective and you're like, yeah, it's safe. I'm not going to get shanked and nobody's going to break <laughs> into my house and murder my mother and things like that. You always say, oh, yeah, it's safe. And then they start telling you, well, what about like earthquakes and typhoons and stuff like that? Like Indonesia's upper level on that type of scary. The earthquake did its damage to... Hanambang, Borbador stood up to it really well. Yes, that's what I meant, sorry. Jakinbake in Tokyo. Jake and bake. No need for a backpack. Oh, he's got a fanny pack? Uh, I'm okay, I don't need a fanny pack. <laughs> My dad wears a fanny pack. A backpack, pack. it's not that I don't want, the backpack's actually a good place to put weight. But that guy's like super famous. He's not going to talk to me. <laughs> people are always like, oh, you like people think that like, the, if you stream, you somehow have access to these other people. Like I said, I mean, he doesn't know who I am. <laughs> okay, I think I got the technology working. Ready? About a half an hour, and uh, it's a pretty multiple day. groups of people have come up to us and asked for us to take pictures with them. And we're not really sure why this is happening. We understand that it's because we're foreigners, but we don't really understand why they're interested in taking pictures with us. Um, so we've been making them use our camera too, so that we can get pictures. And here are some of the pictures that we got. Pause it for a sec. Every single one of these elicited a picture from us, yeah. and this is our reaction to a picture with them. And this is a small percentage of the number of pictures that were taken that day. It was a lot of pictures. It was like a stream. Coheed and Cambria guy and her. So the picture taking has continued to where we've been surrounded by three groups that want pictures with us. And we've had to do group photos with several different family members from different families and stuff. It's 
been odd. It's almost like they've never seen a foreigner before. Uh, maybe Eric's height may have a little bit to do with it. I'm just gorgeous. 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 But I don't know. This has never happened anywhere else. We've literally just. Uh, most Indonesians like to take self photos of white people. I have no idea why they do collect it. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Um, I did. Somebody once mentioned that maybe the, a lot of the people that were there are visiting from areas that don't get any tourism. So to them, it was kind of unique to see foreign tourists because there's not a lot of foreign tourism in the towns that they're from. So maybe that's a thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was a it was a weird moment. I heard that Fanny means. Yeah, it means pussy. But what's fanny packs mean? Is it like a group of women? <laughs> it's like a pack of fanny. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. We'll listen back for the response on that. Now been through an hour of photos. This is barrage of people. One. And as nice as it was to like, because we were having good interactions with these people, it was not a negative thing. It was not like a, but it was, no, no. it was really, um, really hot. And it kind of like, how do we get out of this? Yeah. I remember because at one point, like Pete, somebody would see, oh, they're taking a picture with them. Oh, I'll get in line and then I'll take a picture with them. And it was like, and then the next group saw, and it was just like, okay, like, how do we get out of this without being rude? You know what I mean? It was Man. like 110 degrees outside. I think I kept, <laughs> I kept pointing to particular women that came up on the screen and I was fascinated with the older women who would come and talk to us like not only just like the oldest woman that came over but like women who were maybe 10 years older than me I was just fascinated that they found us or me of interest at all like you have more years on me you have more experience you understand this world mm -hmm. that we're both Why standing we in you're the interesting like, one exactly <laughs> i was i was dumbstruck by that should have sold tickets that's a good idea oh that's the first comment this person <sighs> knows business <laughs> <laughs> after another after another after a group after another group of people just wanting to take photos with us and there's really no demographic to it like it is small children that are like five or six up to like a lady sat next to me and she had to be like older than like time 60s. not time but i mean she was probably in her 60s and wanted to take a picture with it so i am astounded it just seems like they've never seen anyone other than an indonesian person in their life and they're bored to death with their own race so excited to see us <laughs> It's so strange. Really strange. We really only got like a picture of maybe, like we tried to take pictures with all the people, but it got so overwhelming, we just couldn't do it. So we got pictures of maybe a third of the people there were, mm -hmm. and it just got to the point where we were MySpace shotting it because handing the camera to somebody was just too much work because there were so many photos being taken. But um, yeah, that's, that's what we did today. We were exhibitions for- Paparazzi. For, <laughs> we were exhibitions for, uh, Borbador. Borbador. Can you still do that? Yeah, yeah. What about that one? Yeah. Really? You can do a cartwheel and a You still got that off. shit? Yeah. But I've noticed that, like, when I do them, they're... I feel like they're really, like, snap! And they... They don't feel slow and controlled, so I'd like to make them stro like slower and controlled, but that takes having more muscles than I have. You gonna start practicing in the yard? I could. The neighbors are gonna be like, "What in the what? fuck is the farmer doing?" She's just out there doing the then car. She fell down. Dizzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just like to steal white people's souls. Yeah. Good thing we already gotten rid of them before we went there. Yeah, yeah. It was useless. Okay, so that was like all we filmed in Yogyakarta? Jogjakarta? It's like a jaw, like a Y-O. But I, don't, I we can went remember a, we went some a, other things, that, not necessarily that I can remember them vividly, but I can feel like streets. Ooh, I know there's. A, I know of a picture, a very funny yeah. picture that we'll see. Um, I remember walking around the streets and just being getting lost with you, mm -hmm. and I don't remember I don't that much. Remember to be honest what with you. happened, but I definitely remember uh, getting lost and here. I think this is where we went to a volcano. In the volcano, at some point after we went Kelly there, erupted right. and like mm -hmm. caused quite a lot of dam damage. Yes, I think I that was the only reason we went to this place it was because it was volcano. to see the volcano. And I remember this being one of the times after you make a trip like this and you go abroad, 
you hear some sort of news about the place that you went. Doesn't matter if you just went for a day or you went for a week or a month or you traveled extensively like we did. You hear something about the place that you went and if it's a bad thing, it hurts your heart a little bit because you know you were there, you were in that place and you saw all the people or some of the people that are there and you just think about how it affects their life. Mm -hmm. I don't feel this about America, but anywhere <laughs> else. <laughs> um, I just remember hearing the news about this volcano and thinking to myself, fuck. Yeah. That, that just something about, I mean, like changed the course of many people's lives. Like I interacted with five people in that area, but I thought from their perspective, I don't know why I don't think about it from the perspective of fellow Americans. I'm just like, I don't know. Mm. I can tell that I don't. I don't know. I think it would depend on the event. Mm, you smell nutty. You smell like nuts. <laughs> like nuts. Say what? All right, let's get into it. Check out this scaffolding here that they've got that they've built out of bamboo. Uh, no. <laughs> While the footage of Mount Merapi is playing, I'll tell you about the process of getting to Kali Urang and our adventure at the mountain. We decided to leave Jogjakarta the night before and were prepared to head out. One great thing about Indonesia is every guest house wants to serve you breakfast. Might make up for the slightly overpriced rooms. We got our breakfast and headed for the bus station our guidebook noted. We took the trek on foot about a mile or so because we thought it would be easy. It totally was easy until we realized the bus station we were looking for didn't exist anymore. We did pass... This is all lost time. I don't remember any of this. ...where the bus station used to be, and it was obvious to us it had been out of commission for a couple of years. The Lonely Planet Indonesia edition for 2010 apparently did not investigate the bus station's existence. Needless to say, after an hour of searching and coming up nil, we were pretty annoyed. We figured things out and got on a local bus heading for the closest drop-off to Kali Urang in Mount Merapi. After getting there, I asked the bus station operator how to get to Kali Urang, and with a chuckle, she pointed around the corner. She chuckled because with limited English, it's hard to express, stand on the side of the road going north and wave down the next bus-looking vehicle you can. We got on a bus or minivan, which was crowded, and it was comforting to know. How did we figure it so, out? So how did I figure that yeah, out? This why, I don't remember this um, at all. I kind of remember that chuckle. No, really? Like, like, there's something in me I can visualize a... <sighs> it, it'll come back. No, it won't. You got it to come back earlier. I know, I got up and I unplugged it three times and plugged it back in until it worked. Oh, so we never pause again? No, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's causing it. The pause doesn't make any sense. You can keep talking about the thing while I fuck with this. Oh, I didn't have much. Oh. Yeah, but it's going to go crackle, 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 and it's going to be uh -huh. those pink dots all over the place. All right, well, I just thought it was quite surprising that I have some sort of image of this in my mind. Mm. Like, I can, I can feel it. The color is purple. Something purple happened in that moment. With that lady? Yeah, like either her shirt was purple oh, or whatever. I would love to be able to... I don't remember the to, bus. I don't remember anything. I would love to be able to pop back and figure out what was that purple? What in this moment? Because I don't have... Eric and I have been talking about like how you think about things. Like when I think of an apple, I actually see an apple in my mind. Maybe other people will think about different sensations or things that come about about apple, or they'll just see the word written out, A-P-P-L-E. Um, but for me, I really do see things quite visually. And the only thing I have of that memory it's purple. is purple. I'm pretty sure she was wearing a purple shirt. And she chuckled. <laughs> Driving <laughs> <laughs> in Cali Urang soon. The guest house we chose was pretty amazing, and the owner was one of the best guys to take you on a trek to Mount Merapi. His name was Christian Away, and he's pretty famous in Indonesia for his ecotourism, and he's got a good sense of humor. 
We both signed up for the 4 a.m. hike to Mount Merapi for the next morning. The hike would take two hours and five kilometers both ways. Sounds like a picnic. 3.30 a.m. came too quickly and Christian was knocking on our door. We started- And we got up at 3.30 in the morning. I remember going to bed kind of late too. Um, yeah, I can never go to sleep early. It's, it's, it's impossible. I like this dude a lot. Yeah, I remember him being I, cool. I remember just his demeanor was fantastic. You wanted to talk to him. You wanted to listen to him. And not because he had knowledge. He also had, like... Like, when you talk about a hair, you say, like, full body. This motherfucker had full body. Mm, like his personality. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. He... Mm. Just full. Yeah. I remember I remember liking him. That's one of the few things I remember about the, this portion of the day. Mm. You get the impression that this other fellow, like next to him, the other tourist, is looking at you like, what the fuck is she doing with the camera? Yeah, I remember him being a bit squirrely in general. But I make, make, it makes me... that We kind of got those looks when we used to film the, this way. Mm. <laughs> because it was so bizarre to be making, quote-unquote, a vlog. Like, it was unknown. So, like, people would be like, why is that <coughs> happening? Like, you, we would see that look sometimes. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know if that's what he's thinking, but it just reminds <laughs> me of that type of... The glug's gone down the wrong pipe. We're going to have a moment. <coughs> Turn it off. Yeah, right. Who isn't a fan of Wiggum? <laughs> Everybody's got a little Wiggum in them. Oh, no doubt. I got more than. <laughs> yeah, you've eaten oh, cat God. food or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I want to look at all of the uh, Ralph Wiggum, like a, like a Ralph Wiggum stream and just question my life as I realize the things we have in common. My wife's breath smells like cat food. Right now? <laughs> Homie oh. Live, what it is. Thank you for the subscription. Oh. Okay. You I'm done crying over was, we started the morning with some laughs and crackers and met Christian's brother who took us up to the... <laughs> Did you say laughs and crackers? Yes, that is what I said, but I don't know what it's in reference to. <laughs> Giant. The trek took us through the jungle with our flashlights to guide <clears> our <throat> stumbling, sleepy selves. The sun rose as we walked up the mountain, and the closer we got, the more epic Merapi looked. Sitting, uh, sitting next to one of the most active volcanoes in the world at 6 a.m. puts the standards of your day pretty high. It was awe-inspiring, and everyone in the group was hoping it would do something crazy while we listened to some exciting stories from our guide. Our tour guide has been telling us a lot of stories about uh, Merapi, and he told us about a story in 2001 when uh, he took a group up here, and he told them that he had a premonition, like he felt that Merapi was going to erupt. And at one point he stopped them and said, we can't go on. And uh, they said they didn't believe him. And he said, we can keep going, but if we cross the stick that he lays on the ground, that he's not responsible anymore. And if they go up there, they either die together or they leave and they live together. Oh no. Yeah, we're having some sort of problem here. I wonder if the HDMI switcher is dying. Like, that's the best thing I can come up with, the way it behaves. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry about the technology tonight. Mm, it happens sometimes. Does it smell? Does it smell as though the ashes? Does it smell like ashes? I don't remember it smelling like anything. Yeah, I don't have a smell for this memory. I, ha I barely have a memory for this memory. Reminds me of the beginning of the scene at Terminator 2. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Had it blown. <laughs> I'm going to back it up just a little bit. And uh, he told them not to panic. And if they go up there, they either die together or they leave and they live together. And uh, he told them not to panic. Um, so they decided that they'd keep going. And they got up to where we're sitting about now, I'm assuming. Um, over in the far distance over here, they are uh, 
over there talking and there's a little observation area here and he said that they got up here and it actually exploded and uh, the lava started coming down the mountain and he said don't panic and they actually sat here for an hour as the lava flowed down and I'm absolutely terrified of volcanoes. I know they're not going to hurt me and in most places they've got warning systems and whatnot, but I'm actually a little jealous that those people got to see something that we get to hear a crazy story about now. So maybe it'll explain mixed feelings. Maybe. We ended up seeing it's that no one. Bit, but that's okay. It's still very beautiful. This valley right here goes down about 20 feet, and our guide was telling us that as uh, Mount Merapi was erupting in 1997 or 94, I'm not sure exactly, um, he convinced a guard to let him go up there by lying to him and telling him that he had a house near the volcano. And he got up there and was able to watch the lava flow all the way down from the mountain going around Kali Urang. It's pretty cool. Too bad there's no lava there now, but still. That guy's a badass. How old were we? Are here at Vogel's Hostel. How old were we? We were. I was 29 at this point, and you would have been 24. 24. Yeah. So this is this would have been 2010. We are staying in Kilu Rang. Um, <laughs> we just got done with our trip up to Gunung Merapi, Gunung. and I want to show you what our place looks like. I can actually tell you that that right there is our room. But it's got the windows closed so people don't want to steal our stuff. This is what the hotel looks like from the outside. Mm. I vaguely remember. Just looks like some dude's house. <laughs> it looks like a school to me, not a house. Uh, this is where they put all their tours together and it's actually well laid out. Like, it is pretty awesome. Um, I'd label this as like one of the best experiences that we had for like being thorough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like, was, a, it was a really good tour. For remember, how much you that. paid, what you got out of it, the information, the tour guide, just the whole experience really felt valuable. And I don't even know how much we paid, but I think right now to myself, like regardless of what we paid, I feel like the value I got out of this was really good. Mm. And I know that the door is locked, so I'm just gonna give you a peek. Um, there's a bed, another bed, two couches and our stuff. Nothing too crazy. And bathroom's kind of your typical thing. A lot bigger than normal though. I do. Western toilet and there is a hot. I do not like a big bathroom. <laughs> Like I when do. you poop? Mm. Like a big bath, like a toilet no, no, no. room? For showering. Oh. I don't care how big the... For toilet, the only problem is how far you are from the door. It can be as big as it wants to, as long as I could like slap the door if I haven't locked it and someone's coming in. <laughs> but if you're far away from the door, you really have to think about whether you locked it and make sure that you did. But for a shower situation, it bothers me when... Um, It's big because one of the great things about taking a hot shower is that it's a small shower and the steam stays in with you. Yeah, the bigger the shower room, the more the steam dissipates and you don't get that full warm yeah, but shower feeling. Yeah, Indonesia, it's hot. I don't care. And the water is probably cold. <laughs> I'd like to ask me then, how do you feel about this? You travel a lot, don't you miss America? No, not really. Shower amazingly. Woo! <laughs> We are about to get some breath. <coughs> you done? I'm a toozy, so You're a toozy, yes. yeah. <laughs> After our amazing trek. Did you have fun? Yeah. Good. It was a good day. You can see it on your face. I seem to remember... Oh, yeah, girl. All I read was perverse monkey sex. <laughs> All right. I, I, think, I think we slept like a couple of hours, got up at 3 a.m., and I think the next time we slept was in Bangkok. <laughs> that seems like what is wrong with us yeah i, I think we just gunned it out us? of the country somehow are we addicted to just this misery 
that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And we just think, how we much probably, can you stuff into this moment? Just go, 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 yeah. go, go, go. I think that's what happened, but I'm not sure. The next bit is rated NC-17 for perverse monkey sex. So if you're <laughs> my friend Clint's Mormon, you're going to want to stop watching. Okay. So um, this is a monkey orgy. Like all these monkeys are like procreating and they have bananas and it's all really sexy. And then they've gone this far as to... What the? Why did they do that? Was that necessary? It's just a little much, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have that out in public. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, everyone heard what you said, Eric. <laughs> so these monkeys are making me horny. Golly. Gosh, I'm going to need a moment alone. Again? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Okay, anyways. Uh, okay, yeah, so then the next one is Kali Rung to Bangkok, so I'm right. So, let's see what happens. Bangkok kind of felt like our... It felt familiar it felt and a, like a comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember going back and just being like, oh. "Shit says endurance run." Oh, right. this might. I wonder, I wonder if this is yep. our first one. Nah. It might be the first time we came up with that phrase. So we're in Kali Urang on Java in Indonesia, and we are going to make a endurance run and try to get to Bangkok before we have to stop. Essentially, and that's going to be a Keep in mind, we got up at 3 a.m. this morning. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but that's going to be Pause. a little... B Was that sound music or just in the background? A good, good, good noise? Yeah. There's a motorbike going by. It really gave good drama. <laughs> wow. Bus ride into um, Jug Jakarta and then an eight-hour train to Jakarta. And then hopefully we can get an airplane ride to Bangkok. We didn't have a ticket. We didn't have Hopefully a ticket. Hopefully, we can get an airplane right Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think we had to get a bunch of cash out of a machine, like a shit ton of cash. Buy Silver Server. Like, I think we had to get a wad of money out of an ATM to pay for the ticket. And we had to argue with the staff. The staff wouldn't sell us a one way ticket. But I don't want to come back. And we, yeah, we had, to, we had to argue with them or get a manager to approve it or something. Something happened. The Chinese opera masks? <laughs> Are they? Really? Oh man, the next one. We'll have to look at it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I never that never occurred to me before. So um, here it goes, and we'll see how how well this turns out. But uh, hopefully, we can get some sleep on the train, and um, hopefully, we don't die or kill each other from frustration of being tired, which is probably more likely. <laughs> so in the train station. <laughs> <gasps> this oh wow this kid I remember we had to wait at this train station for a long time and Obama had just recently visited Indonesia and there was like sort of like this like connection with it because he grew up there a little bit right mm -hmm. he lived there for a few years well, so there was obviously like some sort of he was connection. born there and doesn't have oh, a yeah. birth certificate yeah. <laughs> and so on and so forth so but he spent time there as a kid and um there was this kid oh god I I, I, I don't know if I show the picture but I'll show it later like, uh, you know what pause at that time, I didn't understand you like I understand you now. Like, I didn't understand the perspective that you have about the world. And at that time, your perspective might have been smaller, but it was way wider than mine. And I might have been slowly getting to know your understanding of the world. But you talking to this kid now is kind of mind-blowing to me, knowing you more. What do you mean? Hmm. The, just that I actually talked to a stranger? No, 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 no. This is more about, like, your understanding of the world. You being able to perceive a lot more about how things function, like, internationally between countries, within our own, like, with, within America. Um, you have a knowledge that I don't have. And within the last five years or so, you have been showing me that world. Mm -hmm. But this kid came up and he started talking to you about international things. Oh, I don't know if you know what's going to happen here. I think you might not know. 
I, I have like a general understanding of you and him having a talk about things. Yeah, but it's because he was putting a gun up to Obama's head. Yeah. And then but, he felt bad about it, I think, and came up and started just try, trying to like be friendly with us because I think he thought he offended me. True, but I thought you guys had a lot more. I don't, I don't remember the conversation, to be honest with you, at this point. My Maybe I'll recollection talk about it. was a little bit of like international interactions. Uh-huh. And I didn't have much of that under my belt, not that I think I do now, but. Sure. In, in, and always in comparison to you, much lower. But. I, uh, I, I am appreciating my understanding of you gotcha. based on this time I don't even rem- more. I don't remember the conversation. I hope I recount we're, it a We're going to find here. out more. Thing, and he's on this. This is a common mode of transportation here. These little push cart, uh, push bike things. We got this Obama thing. A couple days ago, I saw this in a newspaper, and one of the, the I guess the ambassador, the American ambassador or something here, was like behind it for a photo opportunity. Oh, thing. He's right there. Mm-hmm. And um, they've got this little box here, <laughs> right next to it. <laughs> oh, uh, Palestine. Yeah, like why? That's it's a weird combination of stuff. I wonder if the people who made the Obama thing didn't put that there or something. Oh, yeah. Like it, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. Mm. I mean, whatever. I didn't see what the bottom one was. Just countries that America had been attacking at the time. Mm. I'm not really sure. What- was America attacking Palestine or just sticking well, behind Israel? Kinda, yeah, I mean, like, look at me. I don't know. Talk. <laughs> Let's not get too deep into that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wasn't trying to get deep. Just showing I heard words. And then I'll show you. I'll put up a picture of this kid that I just took. He and, looks uh, old in the eyes. Yeah, that just happened, and he let me take his picture. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of funny. Most of the people in um, most of the people in. Um, no, oh, I'm really tired. I can't think straight. Indonesia. I'm in Indonesia. Most people in Indonesia, like, they're really like, oh, happy about Obama. Like, when you say you're from America, because he lived in Jakarta for a while, and um, it's like a, it, they just have a big Obama, big, 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 big heart for Obama. But this kid here, I, I, he asked me after I took the picture. He's like, where are you from? I said, American. He's like, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. He's real worried he was gonna find me or something. It was really funny. Um, I, I could care less, but whatever. So we, so we we don't talk about it at all. Yeah. Okay. So after that happened, he came over and found me and sat down next to me, and we, he talked for a long time. And I think he was I think he was genuinely worried he had offended me. Like that was my takeaway. And like he tried to like just like smooth it over, but I I don't remember the co- I don't remember the content of the conversation. Maybe you remember it more than I do. Mm, and maybe I'm just. Seeing connections that aren't there. Uh, yeah. But I, just, I don't remember. But I do remember him probably... I, I remember thinking, like, kid, like, I wanted to make sure that he... I remember being worried that he felt bad. Because I, genu- I genuinely did not... Could not have possibly cared less. <laughs> like, it doesn't offend me at all. It's just a kid making, taking a goofy picture or whatever, right? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's possible that I just remember him coming and making an effort to be nice, and he was a nice kid. Uh, first Air Asia flight, actually, and um, this is what they've done. You get on. This still freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, it's weird. Of a Black Sabbath concert or something. <laughs> Why is there a cloud in the airplane? Is what I'd like to know. <laughs> yeah, we didn't talk about getting the plane. Oh. Cali, Urang, Indonesia, all the way to Bangkok, Thailand. Um, we started the day that we left Cali, Urang, with a 10-kilometer hike up a volcano, and that started at 3 a.m. So um, right after that, we just went backpack, took showers, and decided, let's go to Bangkok. Let's just let, let's let's get out of Indonesia because our do. piece is running out, and we were, we were ready to leave the intensity that is Indonesia. So basically what this all included was a bus ride from Kali Urang to Jug Jakarta, the outskirts of the town, and then a second bus from Jug Jakarta to the train station. Then we had a long layover and a wait for the night train that we then got on and then took overnight, I think it was eight or nine hours or something, into Jakarta. Then we- Do you remember this train? Yeah, where we met the bee? Is that, no, that was in China. Do you remember this train at all? I don't remember it. Zero. Nothing. I don't remember the seats. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't, I, if you had asked me, did you take a train when you were in Indonesia? I would have been like, I don't think so. But we took a few of them. Nope. Yeah, I don't remember it at all. We went to the airport on a bus, which is another hour. And 
we're gonna get a plane ticket. And then we had a layover there waiting for the plane until well into the afternoon. It was like 10 or 11 hours or something we waited. Then we had a flight from Jakarta to Bangkok and then a taxi from the outside of the city where, um, where the airport is into Bangkok. And then we got onto the SkyTrain and then we went to find a guest house, which actually took two or three stops because it was hard to find a place that wasn't booked up. And then we flew into a country without a reservation of where to stay. That's just how we rolled then. We just flew into a country and we're like, we'll figure it out when we get there. I still feel fine about that. It's just, I, we don't really do that anymore. That seems nuts. It doesn't seem nuts. It just seems like, well, I could have better. Like, like that's what it feels yeah. like to me. I could be living more comfortably. And the opportunity and the service is available. And we finally found a place to stay after two. I remember this being frustrating, trying to find a place to stay. I remember I being outside, remember being like, so. God. And then I remember we figured out our, uh, because we had done something with the credit card, I had to call the bank because our credit card got locked. And mm -hmm. I had to call it on, the, on our phone with Skype or on our computer with Wi-Fi that was spotty on Skype. And I remember it being a big pain in the ass. Hmm. Two kilometer walk from the SkyTrain to this guest house. And we got there at about 11 p.m. Um, so I saw Pause it. some late napping. Eric Klein, why is the first kilo capitalized and the second kilo not capitalized? I torture you. Yes. On the night train, we were awake and traveling for 44 straight hours. So that was a long, long That's an endurance run. run. Successful. What would a non-successful one look like? <laughs> we still be there, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, so, dude, we didn't even talk about... Well, I, like I said, we went to the airport and we had to get a bunch of cash out, like a lot, and uh, two kilo what? Two kilometers. Um, Just grams. We... And then they, they well, the, the situation was they wouldn't let us buy a ticket without proof of onward travel. It was that it was that thing that hits you sometimes. So the airline is like, well, you have to. They're trying to force you into buying a round way ticket or something, but we only wanted a one way ticket. But they're like, well, you don't have proof that you're going to be leaving Thailand, so like Thailand's not going to let you in. But we knew Thailand wasn't going to care. So we ended up having to talk to the manager, and I remember the manager made it happen. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember this. And I don't remember being intense or anything. They were just like, okay, fine, whatever. And they just, oh, whatever, it went on with itself. But it was just like one of those times where airlines are trying to squeeze more money out of you mm. or whatever. Um, one of many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we didn't even mention that. But... Okay, uh, last episode, another short one. Uh, yeah, people think one-way tickets are expensive, but they're not always. And in this case, it was cheaper. Sometimes some airlines, it's like it's literally half the price to take a one-way flight, or it was at the time. But we did know, we had, we were under the same impression at the time. Like, oh yeah, one-way tickets are going to be ex more expensive, but they weren't. Like, I was surprised. I remember being surprised by it at the time. I just read back in Bangkok and I went, I love Bangkok. <laughs> So this would have been our third visit to Bangkok. And the first time we went, we were there for a month. So it was just like after the chaos of Indonesia, like, which was chaotic sometimes, um, it was like kind of like going home mm. and just feeling like, okay, we know where the good, we know where these like little good foods are. And we know what the foods are. We know certain words to say to make yeah. progress. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember getting off the taxi, getting it. When you get a taxi at the airport in Bangkok, it's sketchy because the taxi drivers always try to oversell, overprice you or whatever. And I remember I knew what it was going to cost to get into the to, to town with the taxi, like roughly. And the guy told me some number that was like ridiculous. And I replied to him in like really shitty tie, but at least like more than no tie. Mm. The number that I because we've learned all the numbers. I don't remember them anymore. And I, I told him the number like that I knew it was supposed to be. And he immediately just gave up. Mm. Like, and he's like, OK, well, like he knows how much it's supposed to cost. Like, <laughs> I remember that being beneficial. Back in Bangkok for a couple of days again, um, eating uh, at our favorite food stall. And um, this is the best pad thai I think I've ever had. And uh, we'll enjoy it in a moment when he brings it to me.
and we've been talking as we're walking on the street and one of these days I think we're just gonna come to Bangkok and not leave. Um, the city is so cool. It's so cute. Cool. Um, it's like, um, it's just so exciting and after, I mean, and after we know it well because we were here for a month and after being all over Thailand, all over Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Jakarta, all over Indonesia, um, and coming back here, it's, it's just awesome, uh, awesome city. It really does stick out. Most backpackers, they hate it, but uh, those people are idiots because they all like Chiang Mai and they think that's awesome. That's just ridiculous. So, uh, I wouldn't have leave this prick. <laughs> moment I think I'd stay here for another month but our visa is only for 30 days and it's just complicated so maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll work that out some other day but um, not now but we are back in Bangkok and I'm so happy right now I don't even yay what were you gonna ask I was gonna say how do you feel about Bangkok not oh cauliflower I can have cauliflower and chicken <laughs> and chicken. Exactly. <laughs> Cauliflower finish. Chicken finish. Look how happy my eyes Indonesia, are. Finish. <laughs> we didn't actually feel that negative about Indonesia, but we were. I think that we had a realistic understanding of what was presented to us, and it was comical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were mostly just joking. Like sometimes, like I think sometimes we look like we're coming off really like negative about the way that we're acting things, but it's just kind of like inside joke things that you just start like rolling around back and forth mm. between each other when you spend that much time doing something like that. And um, since like we were just filming like and talking to friends basically, it wasn't like we weren't, there was no thought about anybody outside of our friend group ever seeing it. So it was really just like, yeah, yeah. Like I would be a little more careful about that kind of thing now because I wouldn't want to give make people have an incorrect impression about what my true feelings were. Does that make sense? Like those aren't my those weren't my actual true feelings. I don't think you'd have that. You don't think I so? I think we'd still just be comedy and we'd deal with the aftermath if that mm -hmm. was something that took place. Maybe. I don't know. I just worry I I guess my my point is just that that may seem real, but it's not actually how I feel about Indonesia and my experience there experience oh, I have. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah. like somebody can take that one clip and be like oh they really didn't like Indonesia but that's not at all what my 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 true feelings are my but, true feelings are way more complex than that but in, in the moment we were just goofing off yeah yeah and I would always take momentary comedy over let me tell you that mm -hmm. Indonesia was just fine like <sighs> yeah mm. anyway I don't know if that makes sense it does back in Bangkok and one of our favorite things about Bangkok is the sweet treat mm. We're gonna make out! Yeah. yeah! I don't even know what that is. It's basically a bar nougat? nougat with peanuts in it. And that's it. And they might be a little different, but they kind of taste the same. I don't know, I can't tell. This one's this one's browner. Uh, that's not give it. That lady watched a make out. I think this has got more like of a caramelized than that one. That one's harder. They're good. 30 cents a piece. Sip up. Sip up. I also got some uh, pineapple today, which was amazing because nobody else seems to have really good pineapple like Thailand does. And they only charge you, again, sip up. 30 uh, cents for half a pineapple. We're walking next to an outdoor lingerie store, which tends to happen a lot. Have you noticed that? Yeah. They've had them in Singapore too. So if you need your panties, you don't got to go indoors. You just be on the street. <laughs> the MRT in Bangkok and this is another one of the rules and um, <laughs> specifying no durians no durians and let's ask Katie how she feels about this rule this is the best rule they've ever come up with who cares about the other nine rules as long as there's no durian just <laughs> a big fan of the flavor of a durian I had a really loud, ritzy, um... Ooh. Is that an amu rice? Is that my first amu rice? Is that an amu rice? That might be the first Spit amu rice. Back. Wow. wow. You're, you're having Japanese food. Essentially, <laughs> <laughs> in what? Bangkok, we're in, let's see if I can remember what mall we're in. Paragon, I think. <laughs> Paragon, I remember that name. Anyway, I'm having some food, and this is apparently a Japanese dish. I've never had before in the sauce. 
It looks like a gravy, but it's kind of like a um, sweet and spicy type thing. But it's not sweet and sour sauce at all. But it's like it is both. I don't. Th I don't. I think it's like a curry. Like looking yeah, at it, it could now. Be a curry. Yeah. yeah. The meat makes me think Hayashi, but um, the meat is beef. Could be pork. This is an egg. <laughs> could be pork. It goes all the way to this outer rim, all the way around. That, that shit's pork. That's yeah, it's pork. pork. Wow. I'm just stupid. Right. Oh, that's wrong. And it's not blowing my mind. The sauce is okay. Um, the egg is really you good. Like but, this um, it's not blowing my mind, but it's not bad. But it's interesting more than anything. And then the soup that they gave me with it is a um, kind of like a miso soup a little bit, but not exactly the same thing. It looks like dishwater yeah, onion soup. Yep. I'm totally You don't wrong. know what miso is. And nope. Katie just got a bowl of soup that she's been craving for a while. And that, everybody, is what's for dinner. You left Bangkok yesterday. Good thing I'll be reading in two weeks. Not that Vietnam is worse. Are you in Vietnam now? Vietnam is fun. Chinese New Year has landed in Bangkok and these decorations are pretty cool. Kind of feels like uh, Christmas meets 4th of July. We walked out here and it actually smelt like 4th of July. They must have been shooting something off before we got off of the BTS. So it's been a pretty good sight to see all the Christmas lights again. It's odd that they would be back in, in February, so you know it's pretty cool. You know that is cool. Who? The dragon guy. The dragon guy. <laughs> Pause, we have to explain that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Okay, so really hope no family's watching right now. Because I'm about to, like, call my brother out hard. It's not him so much as it is, like, No, he you... embraced it. Oh, he yeah. embraced it. That motherfucker was wearing the shirts okay so my brother got labeled as like the japanese chinese guy so i gotta step this back. Would have been like the gotta 90s. step back a little bit to explain what the guy is so you know how when you have like a thing that you like like maybe you like pineapples or maybe you like giraffes or maybe you like some other obscure thing. I do like and pineapples and people, giraffes. People just start buying you all the pineapple paraphernalia they can find, like pineapple magnet, pineapple t-shirt, pineapple socks, pineapple anything. So they start buying you this and you become the pineapple guy or the giraffe guy. In my brother's case, people found out that he liked Japanese culture or Asian culture. I don't know what culture my brother liked. Do you know? Was it just dragons? Uh, no, he, he had an interest in like anime and stuff like that, like in the 90s. And I think that kind of just bled into like Japanese culture. And I think that in the 90s, it was kind of hard to know the difference between Chinese culture and Japanese culture from American perspective. Like the internet wasn't what it was. So it sort of all kind of blended together a little bit. You know what oh, I mean to a certain you got degree? A giraffe. Oh, I did. I was a giraffe guy. Um, so I, I think that that's kind of like what had taken place, sort of. Yes. So like all family, like not just my mom and my dad, but extended family, started giving my brother like lots of Asian related things. And a lot like of he got like a like... chest of drawers that was like carved out that was like super Asia, and so <laughs> we we just. He, he would wear these shirts like button up. Yeah, the shirts were fine. Hawaiian it looked like a Hawaiian shirts. shirt, but had like dragons on it. It's a Hawaiian on shirt it. with like dragons on it. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, Gary! See, he, Gary knows everything. <laughs> Gary knows about my brother. I don't have another brother, Gary. You are correct. It is Chip, and so he he ends up getting all these things and we just labeled him the dragon guy and you're like the giraffe guy but we didn't get into your giraffeness saying dragon guy was way more fun and this is us laughing at my brother's situation where yeah he was just constantly getting dragon gifts yeah and i ended up becoming like the dragon guy's girlfriend no draft uh, no 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 oh, i'm not dating my brother no. um yeah giraffe, the giraffe guy. guys yeah girlfriend. so you and i i I, did, I don't know what the deal was like people just found out that oh yeah giraffes are kind of cool and then I, all of a sudden everything that people like non-close friends non-close friends like people in family or something would just be like here's the giraffe i saw a giraffe thing at target so i bought it here it is and it's just like uh, i mean worried. like giraffes are okay but like i don't need like i recently wear the weird is that how you said that? 
I recently mm-hmm. wore, it's not weird. I recently wore the uh, giraffe socks that I got because I know you. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. I went through a campaign where I tried to change the guy that I am. Uh-huh. I went up to people and I, I conversed with them about the guy concept. And I asked them, like, so what guy are you? And I explained this whole guy thing, like, not necessarily how you are the, gira- the giraffe guy, but mm-hmm. I explained what the guy situation was, asked other people that were giving me gifts that I didn't want, what kind of guy they were. And then we'd talk about that, and then I would actively, directly... I'm and the like money guy. Multiple, <laughs> multiple times, I'm like, I want to be the Yankee Candle guy. Oh, yeah. Hit it. Hit that shit hard, because I'm trying to be the Yankee Candle guy. I want all want the them, funky versions, all the regular versions. But you don't spend the money on them. But I don't want to spend that money. And if you're already going to spend $3.99, you can get me a little guy with some good flavor. That's what I wanted. Nobody ever got me anything. You, got, you, you, can't, you can't pick the guy you are. It gets bestowed upon you. Yeah, you you do not get to pick your guy. Yep. And Gary has a good question. Why did we not send this <laughs> stupid dragon guy lots of dragon stuff <laughs> from the Komodo dragons? Oh, going to have to find out if I have anything remaining so that I can send it to the dragon guy. Ooh. That was a long one. Sorry. It's okay. This is the amazing pad thai guy that we come to from now on again. And this is him making my pad thai. So he has this walk over here. Clearly. This definitely shows us getting a little braver. Filming. Mm. Ooh, slot bucket. Yeah, we also had been there enough. I think we kind of knew that the people Mm. were cool. We're going to do that again. It's very hygienic. I mean, it may be in a garage basically but it's hygienic and there go our ingredients really cool things there some oil just eyeballs it all and he starts to cook it on down this may be somebody else's because he just put shrimp in it because i uh, ordered chicken but if i get shrimp that's okay i guess And um, there's a little bit of his noodle. Break that off, that was awesome. And I'm not sure what's in that, some sort of uh, oil or something. Some water. water but these other, well, it could be water. It's just strange that he doesn't use the other bucket for it. He has two sources of water. He has me tricked. And then I already went down and got my drinks, one Katie's. And then over here you've got your fixins, the hot spice here, and then sugar, and then Ooh, peanuts. Those onions. And then um, limes. Limes. And his basket of eggs. And then oh, my egg just went in. And now in the slot bucket goes to trash. And that is about what you get for making a thing of pad thai. Oh, I crave to be there. In Bangkok, we did some relaxing. Um, I actually went and got a Thai massage for the first time, which was really amazing. The lady was outstanding. I seriously think she could kill a man with just her thumb. It basically was a lot of uh, pressure point pushing, and uh, she did some really cool things. She cut off the uh, circulation to my leg, and she held it there for about 30 seconds, and you could feel all the blood rush back into it. It was really cool. And she bent me over her knees, like backwards, and cracked my back a lot. And it was just really good. I would recommend it to anyone, uh, the Thai massage. Go to the Watfo School. They live up to the reputation. It's really, really good. Uh, you went there because you didn't want to get a hand job. Like there was like some of the, a lot of a lot of the places were kind of sketch. Yeah. And but we we I guess somehow we figured maybe it was in Lonely Planet or something. It's like if you don't want to get a hand job, go to this one. And uh, yeah, I I vividly remember that massage. Yeah. And I also now go in my mind. I don't want that. For me, it's a rub situation, oh. not a back bending. Well, you're gonna have to go to the hand situation. job ones then. Yeah. Yeah. True. Uh, another thing that we did, we spent a good amount of time at the movie theater because there's no other good movie theaters apparently in Southeast Asia. So we went to the Paragon 
which is one of their big malls that has an incredible movie theater. And we went and saw Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, which we thought was probably not going to be very good, and it turned out to be really funny. And it's in 3D, and the 3D isn't bad. And it was, it was good. We both left going really, we were really happy that we had seen it. And then the next movie we saw was Avatar, and I think it lived up to... We were just talking about Spurs Avatar. In space. Spurs in space. <laughs> what everybody's saying about it, it's a good movie. Storylines kind of Pocahontas meets The Matrix, and the 3D wasn't bad. You didn't sit there for three hours thinking you were going to throw up or get a headache from the 3D, so that's good. 3D is getting better. <laughs> 3D is gone. Nobody does that shit anymore. Nobody cares. <laughs> really good movie. Um, both movies were in the same kind of movie theater where we got a luxurious seat to sit in and it was just really really nice. So we got to do a little relaxing in Bangkok. Ah. We definitely love movie so theaters true. in Bangkok. Yeah it was fun. I Something about being so hot outside too and like just being like okay it's too hot outside let's go to the movie theater. We recently told someone about this train ride. Oh did you? For reasons I won't. <laughs> We'll be taking to the border of Laos, and it's really long. We're car number three, and this is car number like a billion and four or something. <laughs> car number 13. And we got a ways to go. <laughs> it smells like fuel, and it's typical Southeast Asia. Dragging <laughs> it! <laughs> Oh shit. We do not talk about that now because my brother is not the dragon guy that he used to be. Oh man, what a disappointment. I will message him and tell him. He doesn't know that we call him the dragon guy. Oh, he doesn't? No. Yeah. No, I never told him that. Um, but I should. I have to pee now. Okay. Didn't you already go pee once? I urinate when I need to. Too, <laughs> too much, too much mold wine. So, uh, you guys think we should uh, think I should play some Mario Kart as soon as we're done with the, us watching our stuff? How you feeling about that? I haven't played the new tracks yet. There's uh, there's some new tracks to play, so that could be a thing. Uh, what time is it? It's just about ten. Yeah, maybe I could do some Mario Kart. I've been meaning to for a while. So happy the 3D glasses are gone. For sure, I agree. You'll stick around? All right, man. Maybe I'll play some Mario Kart. Played the new tracks at the office for the first time today. Completely missed their out. Yeah, I saw when they came out. I just haven't had time. I've been busy. I've been busy on the old... Uh, wasting time doing other stuff. <laughs> no, just preparing for our trip and stuff. It's been swallowing time. Man. U.S. trip? No, we're going to Okinawa. Watch the game stream. All right. Uh, the new Rainbow Road. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Don't, no spoilers. Felt super sharp. Oh, I thought you already raced. I saw you racing the other day. No. I didn't uh, play him yet. I set out an uh, invite for Sunday to play Mario Kart. Oh, snap. I gotta change the scene back. And picture time. What's we making now? So I gotta do this. And then put it up. Uh, we'll be traveling in a week and a half. And then do this um, again, and then like that. There we go. And then don't bump anything. I don't remember this at all. I think this is where that guy took us. Yeah, this is while he was like walking us through a network of random shit. Yeah, but I totally do not remember it at all. Uh, and then I guess that was this palace thing. I, this is all like this is like a week of time that's just lost to me. That's just I don't have it in my brain at all. Yeah, this is us getting lost, and I do remember they gave us stickers. Mm -hmm. I wish I had that sticker. And I think you took a picture of this clock because it looked like a clock your mom has. Is that right? Nope. Maybe my mom had a clock like this. 
I don't know. Somewhere in my life was a clock that looked just like this. But anyway, I just took it. I was going to ask you if you remembered what that was or what this is. I don't remember. Again, this is all this like is lost decadence. time to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe it's inside that palace. That again, I don't remember. I see a nice clock. Wow. <laughs> Oh wow! Is this the oh. picture you were thinking of that you were no. like? This no, is, that's a pretty uh, look. It's got three legs. I remember them being like in in Jugdekarta, Jugdekarta, or whatever. They're these weird art things were kind of like all over the place. I remember that being like part of the game. Um, and then nice sunset. Mm, I think I might have exported these at not full look resolution. Look at all the bikes. What a cool picture. Yeah, I put it on Twitter yesterday. Oh, man. I love that. Yeah, I like it, too. Why are we so wonderment? I don't know. We're in a mall, though, I bet. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that looks like movie. Oh, gosh. I love this picture. There's something really stupid about this picture. and I remember You can ride these things, right? You can ride them. I don't think I rode them there. I think I rode one at a different place. In, you rode one in um, Korea. South Korea. They look so stupid. <laughs> and they look so eager. And then, yeah, I exported all of these at the wrong resolution. Oh, well. So they're going to be a little small. Um, but, uh, yeah, just a picture of... How do you say it? Borobador? Borobador is how I say it. Yeah, I don't know. How. Gary. <laughs> Gary, get on that shit. I like Phonetics this picture. us. I like this picture quite a bit, actually. Or just, mm. I just, that's nuts. It's really, really hot. And it wasn't even noteworthy, like, really. Like, it wasn't like, no. In the news, everybody just seemed like, was this like, oh, is we're fine. Take picture. Like, oh, I was so hot. And then this is just, I'm going to just punch through these. This is a lot of these pictures. I didn't realize they were in the video. Mm. Um, so let's just uh, punch on through all of these pictures, of which there are many. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. I like this one of us. Mm, timer pictures are so fun. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of are. When you can they? find the right moment, the right place, the right setup, it's really fun. And, uh, yeah. So we didn't start getting pictures with them until it's been going on for a while. I don't remember at what point we were like, you got to take our picture I think we got to too. like picture number 15 and we were like, okay, fuck it. If they're taking pictures of us, we're taking pictures of them. Yeah. But I mean, you can see like everybody's super happy. Like yeah. it was a fun, it was a fun thing. It wasn't. It, yeah. I remember it being really cheerful. Uh huh. And I Look remember at, I mean, like. She's genuinely smiley. Like, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like every, everybody in that group is that, this is goofy. It's like, okay, we're doing this thing. You know. And you get like hip dudes or like yeah, kind of cool like dudes. low dudes key like, dudes. Think they're cool, yeah. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a family. Look at the girl. Look, look, at how, sass girl. look how sassy so she is. So much sass. Look at the sass. She's been working on that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, now you're just doing selfies. Like that guy looked like he was in a band or something, I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, remember, I, I actually remember, I remember her. some of these people like actually There's remember them. There's one in specific I can remember the way she touched my arm. Like, well, when we get to her, I'll explain. I took a picture of this because this was also happening to a degree. Like, I feel like that guy's taking a picture of me, mm -hmm. but I'm taking a picture of him. And you can tell we're sitting in the same spot. You know what I mean? Like, we're just sitting there and people are just coming up and bam, bam, bam. Picture, picture, picture. Look at her eyes. Mm. Very soulful. Very sweet. Look at your eyes. <laughs> very derp. Yeah. <laughs> Derpy derp. That is the word I was thinking. <laughs> I remember her and how close she is to me. Hmm. She wants to be that close. You were sweaty. No doubt. You're also wearing your bathing suit top. You must have oh, been doing laundry. Laundry, yeah. Yeah, so you're wearing your bathing suit. It's funny. Her 
her. That's my girl. Yeah, yeah, Look at girl. how close she's with the arm around me. Like, I can remember her, like, holding my arm like this and just <laughs> feeling that tension. And I, I don't remember what we talked about, but I remember it being past the, the, the niceties. I remember it being about, like, kind of like life. She looks something. You can tell how strong of a person yes, she is. Yes. I, I very much, like, remember the intensity of my interaction with her. Mm. I remember thinking this guy looked like the singer from Coheed and Cambria. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I love hair. how she feels to just slide on my head as like a friend that you must have known. Mm. But yet we never met. <laughs> and then this was the older lady. And he's like trying to tell. It looks like he's like, no, 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 don't take the picture. But he's like trying to help people to come over. Mm hmm. And that lady, like she stuns me that she yeah. wanted to be in a picture. Look at her fucking face. I like she's just got experience and stuff like like this what do you mean by that what, do you, what does that mean look at her fucking go, 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 go wild what do you, you say look at her eyes her uh -huh. eyes are so intent on what she's looking at it sounds rude to say this but she feels dinosaur-esque in that she has age and experience and it shows but yet she's so soft and gentle and relaxed like there's so much tensity dinosaur there's, there's so much <laughs> tensity in my face it's not a word but like you can just see i'm squeezing all of the muscles but her face seems uh. so relaxed like she smiles effortlessly oh okay yeah i see that's, that i guess that's what i'm trying to say but at the same time like you know that she's older than me mm -hmm. and I, I don't know. I think it's really interesting, it's in, too, that she was interested in the picture, and then you have kids and teenagers and, like, hip guys yeah, and, like, yeah. the whole spectrum of people that just found it interesting or whatever. She has, like, a ancient elegance. Ancient An ancient <laughs> that's elegance. That old lady that actually is. She's, like, I don't know. That's, that's the word I'm something. putting on that. Hmm. It was hot. Yeah, it was a little hot wise i don't know her knowledge she looked wise i know her... i think she I think she looked she looked like she knew knew some shit yeah this was the picture i was thinking about uh, that's so to the toilet that's to the toilet <laughs> why was there a hole in the toilet door i don't remember what this the is the closest was. we've come to shitting in the same room or near <laughs> each other i remember shitting in there and just being like this is wrong for our relationship yeah this is not beneficial <laughs> I like how gross it looks though with my beard right up against the camera mm -hmm. like that. It grosses me out. There was tape on the outline of the window so my hair would get stuck. Oh, that's right. I remember that. They had taped it up at some point in time. Um, yeah, that's just... We got a bunch of pictures of the volcano and stuff too. I never know. It's, I don't want to watch the videos before we do the Us Watching Us because it refreshes my memory too much and I want to go in raw. Mm. Um so then I don't know what is shown in the video. So sometimes when I'm picking pictures, I just uh, throw everything in. Look at how tall I am compared to that guy. Mm. He's really small. He confronts volcanoes. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you love this picture. Huh? <laughs> you love this picture. It's fucking funny. Look at my face. It's mm. great. How did I nail that? It looks so good. <laughs> the monkey's fucking, man. <laughs> Look, I'm, my mouth is perfect. I oh, know your mouth. You, that looks like the mouth one of the monkeys would have. Mm -hmm. That's that's a reenactment right there. <laughs> wow, oh, it's a lobster. I don't even know what it is, but the motion. This is great. Yeah, it's cool. Very unique. This is that kid in that picture with Obama. That I was like, let me, whoa, whoa, he did it. And I was like, whoa, 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 let me do that, do, do that again, do it again. And he was like, okay. So he did it again. That's the picture. It's just a bizarre moment. But again, that was that kid that came and talked to us for a really long time afterwards. His fingers seem to be the same length. Oh, That's yeah, they do, strange they? to me. Let me see. Yeah, 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 your middle finger's longer. Unless that Obama is. Hold on, everybody in the chat, are, is your. Middle finger longer than your index finger. Is this an index? 
your pointer Where? finger. Is your middle finger longer than your pointer finger? Or are they the same length? Or Obama's are they look they like the they're same about the same length. length. That's a rope boogie. Okay. All right, we're getting yeses. Yeses mean a longer middle finger. Mm. Okay, that's that's what I'm taking there. Hmm. Always. Motherfucker, look at the picture. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look at that. We had That's the money we had to get to get the airplane ticket. I, it was like, the bills in Indonesia, like, one bill is like 10 cents or something. It's like, really? Okay, good. Just checking that everybody's middle finger is longer. <laughs> um, I found this interesting. I have a photo of have I written anything a lonely this? planet, but oh, but I have a photo of a lonely planet. Of it looks like we have a PDF of a lonely planet. Oh, that's and the reason that I have a photo of it is because we didn't have a smartphone, and if we wanted to be able to access a PDF, what we were doing is we were taking pictures of all of the things in Lonely Planet on the camera on the camera. And then we had this tiny little pocket camera and we would go back and find the picture and view it. And then with like the buttons on the camera face, we could zoom in and look at things. That's how we were. That's how we were smartphoning. We were using we were smart camera. Yeah, we were using the camera. And the reason that this happened is because we were only going to be in Thailand for a couple of days. And we did have a book when we traveled around, but we were going back just for a couple of days, but we needed the maps and stuff. So we downloaded a PDF. So we like pirated it, but only because we needed, the, we didn't have the book we anymore. We'd given yeah. it away to somebody because we didn't need it while we were traveling around these other countries. Um, and yes, we were traveling during Obama times. Yeah, yeah. Obama! Oh, man, it's such fun to say. Yeah, so that's what was going on. But that's why I have all of these pictures. Uh, and then... This is just oh man, that's pre COVID. At the mall, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. And this is a picture that's labeled oh, sushi. I was actually thinking about him and other statues like him that uh, these feel and look like the locks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the sheep, on the e sheep. On the e sheep. It's sushi. Oh, I miss that little dog. Another gross picture of my beard. What's up with this girl? She's just standing in the corner avoiding the hoggies. Yeah. She's worried about COVID. Oh yeah, this little camera is the camera that we were we were looking at on the back. On the <laughs> that's what we were smartphoning with, man. Looks like no goiters. Mm, it's possible. And just kind of, I just thought it was kind of a cool picture. in the train uh, that took us to Laos and I think that's a pretty good place to stop the uh, us watching us portion of the evening mm -hmm. and um, we will be picking this up next week I do believe we are not leaving until after next week's Tuesday right I'm going to check the calendar really quick yeah that would be wise yeah we're leaving on Wednesday Yep. so um, we will be us do watching we? us next week should be good and we will be picking up starting our adventure in Laos. And we end up spending like a month in Laos. And uh, yeah, so we'll be picking up next week. And Gary, uh, I'm sorry about the bad things and experience. It looked like you had a good time. To yeah, my, my memory of Indonesia is positive. Gary, you're sure that we know what to do and prepare ahead of time? What we need to do is call you <laughs> and we'll meet you at the airport and we'll have a good time that's what's gonna happen I'm going on the Gary tour. I am trying to meet Gary <laughs> oh yeah is it Gary or Jerry please be Gary I think it's Jerry my dude you've been saying <gasps> the wrong name but there's a G there <laughs> Gary Gary tell us the answer <laughs> oh god I'm not saying that, but saying in contact with me is a good idea. Okay. Oh man, Gary just Gary, he just ditched your date. Gary just no ditched date. us because you've been saying his name wrong for like <gasps> for like three months. It's Yay! like Gary. Oh, uh, good. good. Not good, offensive. Good, good, good. Not I, he no. probably would have corrected because he was telling us how to say Charita and things like mm. that. So we might have gotten a correction on the name had I been fucking that up. Okay. Um. 
Yeah. So we'll pick up next week in Laos. So and... we have to stalk Gary now. <laughs> <laughs>